Hi guys, so this is going to be a review for the Chocolat Sailor Moon Moon Chalice Humidifier. I just got this from eBay and it was kind of expensive. I'm not recommending people to eBay because there's only one seller right now that's selling it and they're selling it for way, way too much. Um, but uh, I don't know where you can actually buy this right now because like I said, it's uh, kind of rare to get. But this is the box that comes in and it's pretty plain. It's a pretty plain brown little box, but it's got the logos on there and at the bottom it does have the Toei sticker, as you can see. Um, so there's nothing much to see when it comes to the box. When you get it, it comes in this little clear case to protect it while it's uh, shipping to you. And then you get a um, USB plug to charge it and some instructions. So here is the chalice right here. And it's really pretty. It's got this nice pink color. And the molding is actually closely based, if not almost completely based, off the Proplica version because it looks very identical to it. Um, but you do get some instructions on how to take care of it. And it's really helpful because there is English instructions on here. So here is all the English instructions on how to use the humidifier. So in case you want to see that, there it is. But they do give you this cord, and this is a basic USB, so you could probably switch this out to a white one. I think white would go better with this. I'm, not, I'm actually going to try to look for a white one, preferably, but it does have this special plug on there. And I think this is the same kind of charge plug that is used with, like, the PlayStation 4 controllers and stuff like that. So, very, very common. And you can use a basic charger. This is my charger for my iPhone. Um, to use the, the, uh, the humidifier. But, just to let you know, this is not for charging it. You actually have to have it plugged in while you are using it. So you cannot use this without that particular um, kind of plug plugged into it at the same time. So, But it's very, very pretty. It does have this nice pink color, as you can see. And on the back, you do have your LED on and off. This is for the light effect. And this, this one over here is for the humidifier on and off. So these are buttons that you can press, as you can see. And the gems are really nice. You do have some nice gem detailing on this. And the gold is not a bright yellow. It's more like a soft yellow, which I think works better for the chalice. I do love the pink and the light gold then the Proplica version that has a more yellow gold and a, and a red tint to it. But it is very, very pretty. Beautiful, beautiful designs. And on the bottom here, it has the Chocolat logo and the Sailor Moon International logo on there, which is nice. And then on the back is your USB plug. So this is where you plug in the cord to get it running. And then we'll take it op we'll take a moment to open it. So that's how you open it there. And there is the there's two lights in here. There's a light up here, a light down there that illuminates it. And then you can actually twist this off. And then that's how you put the water inside. So it's really simple to use. Um, the only thing they warn you from is to make sure you use distilled water or filtered water or whatever. Um, you don't want to damage the item over time. And I do recommend when you use this to just be sure that you let it sit out, let it dry really naturally, and um, don't actually dump the water out. Just kind of like let it sit and dry naturally so that all the water is completely um, dried before you set it aside and close it and everything and put it away because the water could damage it over time if it's just sitting in there, so. But we're gonna plug it in and take a look at its effects and kind of get an idea of how this works. So I'm plugging it in now to the USB. 
and they also warn you to not um, mess with the water and stuff while it's turned on but this is how the top comes off you just twist it and lift it out there's also another little piece right here that you need to lift out and remove and this is how much water I'm gonna put into it right now I'm not gonna fill it all the way up just to let you know So I only put in maybe, I don't know, a fourth a cup of water in there to start it out. I'm going to dab some of the excess off. And I'm going to put the cover back on. I'm going to turn it on. That's the lights. Lights kind of cycle through a nice color. And here's the humidifier portion. So there it goes. And you don't really need very much water at all. Um, I was actually testing out a little bit before I started the video just to see kind of how it works and everything. If there's any bugs, I can mention them and whatever, but it does not take very much water at all. A fourth a cup of water is all that you really need to get the effects. Um, it lasts for a long time. The steam is not hot. It's a cool mist, so it's not anything but maybe room temperature coming out. It doesn't heat the water or anything. Uh, you don't want to put any essential oils in this. It's just water, so that's a big warning on this. It's just water, no essential oils or any uh, scents or anything you want to put in this, just the water. But it's really pretty and it works really, really well. It does its intended purpose. And like I said on the instructions, just to clean it with a soft cloth, um, clean swab to clean the water tank. Never use any weird shape objects to put in there because it could break it, whatever. Um, but it looks really, really pretty. Let's zoom in here a little bit. It's a nice, pretty mist. I actually have the lights kind of dim in here so that you can actually see everything really well. You can see the chalice, the colors, and uh, the lighting effects and the mist and everything. Otherwise, it's kind of hard to see when it's really bright. So I kind of waited until the sun went down a little bit to film this but but yeah it's really really nice and I'm quite impressed with it the only downer is how much I had to pay to even get this thing it was not cheap just just putting that out there um, and on the back one of the wings is actually scratched I'm gonna try to see if I can show you guys that it's kind of hard for me to share at this moment in time but it's right here there's like a scratch right along there and it's kind of sad because it's the only real defect in the item. There was some like smudging and stuff like that which were easy to come off but that little hairline scratch was kind of a disappointment. <laughs> so if you do decide to get this just know it's not a flawless piece but it is very unique and pretty. And lastly, I just wanted to kind of show you the sizes. So this is the original Proplica, and this is the new water chalice, as I'm calling it. But it is the uh, humidifier. <laughs> but let me just show you real quick the differences. You got the gold paint, the red, and especially the size. I mean, look how much bigger this one is compared to the Proplica. So that's a big factor in why I wanted to get this, is just the size of it is really nice. The coloring is really pretty and it looks really nice from pictures I was seeing online. So I'm really impressed with it. I do think it's very highly collectible if you want to invest in getting one. But do just know that it is rare. The Chocolat series was a limited run they did the end of July. So now when you want to go out and buy one, it's going to be kind of difficult. So just know that. I think this retailed for around $50, something around there. If you wanted to get one, you had to buy a t-shirt and then you were able to 
purchase it at the Collab. That is pretty much my review of it. If you guys have any questions or anything that I didn't cover in the video that you want to leave in the comments, I will definitely help you as much as I can. And uh, yeah, but it's really nice and I am happy at least to have one, so. But thank you guys so much for checking out my video today. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. All right, bye.